Like, so I was on Suboxone. My doctor was like, you know, let's switch you to Sublicade. You and know, instead of taking, you see with Suboxone strips, it's a little more of a handcuff. Not as worse of a handcuff as method. Suboxone and, you know, these were the eight milligram strips I was on. Uh, camera might not be too focused well, but these are them. And basically I was taking, you can take up to three uh, of these a day. And with the sublocade, you just go, like I said, to the clinic once a month and you don't got to take these every day. So yeah. And, uh, you know, instead of taking, you see with Suboxone strips, it's a little more of a handcuff. Not as worse of a handcuff as methadone, where you got to go to the clinic to dose every single day. But with the Suboxone, you do have to take the strips every single day. And with the Sublicade, I was able to just get a one time a month, a once a month injection of uh, buprenorphine, which is the active ingredient in Suboxone, instead of taking the strip every day. Just go to the clinic once a month. So me and my doctor decided to do that and uh, started getting the, the monthly injections you know, and I was on Sublicade for like 11, 12 months before I had finally got off. And I'm going to tell y'all how I did that and how I ended up getting off of not only Sublicade, but just heroin and fentanyl and opioids in general. Okay, let's talk about methadone versus Sublicade. I said, like, methadone, you got to go to the clinic. You're, you've got a handcuff to the clinic. You got to go to the clinic. You got to dose every day. You know, um, the withdrawals from, no, not even just the withdrawals, but you can actually get high from methadone. Because, you know, I tried taking methadone and I was abusing normal heroin and opioids while I was on, on top of the methadone. You know, and um, it gets you high still, and uh, the withdrawal effects of methadone, if you don't know, are really, like, they're terrible, and they're drawn out, opposed, because it's a long-acting uh, medication-assisted therapy, opposed to something like Suboxone or Sublicate, you're not going to get high taking Suboxone. You might, I mean, if you're like uh, somebody who already has an opioid tolerance or does opioids, you take the Suboxone so that it minimizes and reduces the cravings. And you can't get high on top of Suboxone because of the naloxone. So I just think it's a better option at least it was for me, opposed to doing methadone and having the handcuff to the clinic, you know, it, it just works out better. Or it worked out better for me, speaking from my experience. So definitely uh, with, okay, so that's methadone. Now let's go to the sublocate. Like I said, you can't get high on it. Uh, with the Sublicade, you get the once a month monthly injections. And now with the, okay, specifically with the Sublicade, let's talk about the Sublicade withdrawal for a little bit. Now with the Sublicade, if you Google it, and I can actually say that this is true because I have been on Sublicade, I, I've been off. Sublicade for 
all, over six months now and have e experienced very to no type of withdrawal symptoms at all. Like none. You know why? Because when, when you get your last injection of sublocate, the buprenorphine inside of it stays in your system for up to 12 months. So if I were to take a drug test right now, it would still like be in my system because it comes out slowly. So therefore, I didn't have to experience any terrible withdrawal effects, which was a lot of the reason why me and a bunch of other people have a hard time getting off opioids and opiates because of how intense the withdrawal can be. But I'm telling you guys, with sublocate, if you just do it the right way, get with a medical professional, do whatever you got to do. If you do it the right way, you can you can get off of it. You don't have to wean you don't have to wean off of it. After 12 after 12 injections, go get your last injection. As long as you don't fuck around, excuse my language, we're going to beep that out. As long as you don't mess around, you're going to be good. I mean, I've been clean for over two years now, turned my life completely around, you know, um, beating addiction and substance abuse like is possible. And, um, you know, hopefully this video can inspire somebody out there to, uh, to do the same thing because, um, you know, it's a slow death and, Definitely with the type of medications, advanced medications like Sublicade specifically, because it makes it possible to make that transition and just get off the of drugs completely. Uh, no like medicated assisted therapy for opioids, like that's a huge deal. You know, like people be on Suboxone and Methadone for years, years. And I am proud to be like, I'm not on that. Like, I'm not on Suboxone. Like, if I could do it, you could do it. You got to just believe in yourself and, you know, build a support system. Uh, even if you don't have family, surround yourself with people that are better than you and just you know just stay focused you know like it's hard to, it's easier said than done but hopefully this experience uh you know hopefully you learn something from this video you know i wanted to make this on a more serious note uh so hey that was how I got off Sublicate. That's how I got off Suboxone. That's how I got off opioids. You have any questions? Y'all have any questions? Leave them down in the comments below. I will try to reply as much as I can. You know, so it's never too late to become who you were always meant to be. Uh, it's never too late to turn it around. It's never too late to, to make your family proud and make the people that truly care about you like make them like make things right you know because like drugs pleasure turns to pain is what happens would be like the perfect way i would describe it so i just got tired of suffering and i got tired of letting my people down and uh most of all, most of all, letting myself down. So like and subscribe if if you agree, if you if you if you feel what I'm saying, uh life is a lot better. Um it, it's it's just it's it I would be talking for hours if I like said everything, you know, so I'm going to just compress this and just say that. 
If you if you could do it and and heroin like you can't like opioids and that shit like you can't live like a functioning life and be doing that shit. You know, uh, I had a ten Xanax a day habit, and and honestly, like the reason why I'm sharing this is because I be. And okay, let me not like get too cocky and arrogant because my addiction is always with me. But I, I just am super proud of the fact that I did this. And you could be proud too if you just set your mind to it. So hopefully uh, you learned something from this video. That was how I got off Sublicade, heroin, fentanyl opioids and how I did it Gabe's Galaxy like and subscribe